Rationalisation is a part of our everyday lives, from scheduling our day to planning our year. Television guides lay out the week's shows, making it predictable and easy to watch. Newspapers follow the same format, libraries use the same coding system. The predictability of road signs, traffic signals and security mechanisms helps organise society, locking us into specific control patterns that effectively choose what we do and what we don't. Predictability also ensures a standardisation amongst the sports we play. All hoops must be this big, all goals this wide and all lines this far apart. In the last part of the 20th century, there was a trend of increasing calculability in sports, with a ranking of teams in separate divisions and leagues according to performance. This can also be found in education. The multiple choice questionnaire, a quick way for teachers to assess student knowledge with minimal effort. Forcing students to adhere to this form of examination presents another form of rationalisation, control. Control can be seen in the layout of lecture halls, Rising vertically as the rows proceed to provide an unhindered view of the lecturer, the primary focus being on him and what is being taught, effectively rendering all others powerless. The seminar room, on the other hand, whilst exerting a similar amount of control, does so in a completely different manner, encouraging group discussion and teamwork. ATMs, photo kiosks, vending machines and self-checkout systems force the customer to do the work, lessening the load on actual employees. For a few moments every week, we all become bank tellers and shop cashiers. Their location is also highly predictable, outside banks, major shopping locations and town centres, allowing the consumer to find the ATM closest to them. The strive for efficiency and the ensuing role reversal has changed the way we shop and buy. No longer do we purchase transport tickets through a travel agent or material goods through a retail outlet, but from the comfort of where we choose. Surviving amongst the torrent of information and bureaucracy has led to increased efficiency amongst society as a coping mechanism. Multitasking has become a commonality. The invention of all-in-one devices allows a whole range of tasks that can be run simultaneously. Encompassing all these values of control, predictability and efficiency is the modern day shopping mall. Consumers know that they will find everything they need in there whilst providing a clean and safe environment like all the other shopping centres they've been to. The lack of clocks and natural light allow the consumer to browse in hyperspace with little sense of time or place, encouraging them to minimise their conscious thought and maximise their spending at the mall. However, these forms of rationalisation did not come about naturally. They are a clear example of social constructions invented by managers to promote productivity in the workplace. Rationalisation seeks to control us, increasing our ability to perform rationalised tasks in the workplace by conditioning us to do them in society. The ultimate form of on-the-job training, one you can never truly escape. Effectively draining us of creativity and individuality. Have we been conditioned in this way of life? Are we gradually becoming ensnared in Weber's iron cage? Does a Kafkaesque nightmare await us, similar to the events laid out in Orwell's 1984? Or will the evolutionary process of rationalisation reach a compromise between efficiency and individuality? Despite the dehumanisation of society through mundane tasks, is the opportunity to spend more time enjoying oneself in non-rationalised activities worth it?